do these nine exercises that I'm going to be sharing with you here, you are going to see tremendous results, which is the big bum, small ways that you want to see the hourglass snatch look, whether you look from the front or the back or the side, you just be slim, thick, Fit. Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. My name is Scarlett and I'm a fitness and a life coach helping women transform their bodies and their minds so that you can become the slim, thick, fit and strong women that you have always wanted to be. So now today I'm going to be taking you through nine fundamental exercises when it comes to achieving that small waist, big bum, that look that you exactly want. Now, it doesn't matter if you are doing any other fancy exercises or not. If you just do these, if you're progressively overloading on them and if your form is on top notch, you are going to be way far ahead of the game. And also, I want to tell you that if you want these exercises as well as a hundred plus exercises that are specific for targeting all areas of the legs and the glutes, you can download that the link is right here and now without further ado let's dive right into the video the first exercise that i want to share with you here are the squats now so many girls shy away from doing squats because they do not want to grow big legs they only want to grow the booty and i hear you but the squats are going to give you extra gains you may be missing out on it if you are not doing the squats so like for example, if you're not growing the upper shelf of the booty, the squats are going to help enhance that look. And also when you are working on the squats, you are going to grow the quads. So when you look at yourself from the front, you're going to have that hourglass look as well. So it is not, it will not just be your backside that will have that hourglass look, you will have the hourglass look from the front too. Now if you want to do the squats, what you're gonna do is go all the way down. Remember, if you want to work on the glutes, you're not going to do half squat because it is not going to stretch out those glutes muscle fibers. If you want all the gains, you wanna go all the way down. But if you only do halfway down, you are only going to have halfway gains. Now the next fundamental move is the hip thrust with abduction. Also with the hip thrust, you can do two main options. One of them is just doing heavy hip thrust. So you're going to tilt your pelvis upward and then thrust those heavy weights. Or another variation is to do a simply a lighter weight but you are going to carry the tempo all the way around. So now at the bottom, instead of losing all the tension, you're all going to carry that go down just a bit and then thrust all the way up again. Now, each of them, they have both the pros and the cons. They both are great in so many ways, but you want to incorporate both of them in your workouts just so to make sure that you are optimizing all those booty gains. Now the next exercise that is a must have if you want small waist and big booty are the deadlifts. Now what they're gonna do is they are going to build muscle, a lot of muscle in your legs and then also your hamstrings and also your even your lower back. And this will help you utilize more energy during your workout. You're going to burn a lot more energy and therefore it is much easier for you to get that slim waist because you are expending all those energy. But the one caveat that I want you to know is that during the deadlifts, you want to be feeling more on the glutes and not your back only. So if you are feeling more on the back, you are doing it wrong. The mistake is because you are not loading up those glutes. So when, before you are pulling that weight up, you want to be leaning backwards so that you're feeling that tension in your glutes and your hamstrings. And I also like to do sumo deadlift version more because that's where you will feel more of the glutes, but play around for your own anatomy. It could be different for you. So play around with both sumo and conventional and try incorporating some pause deadlifts too or eccentric deadlifts too because you will feel mechanical tension in a different way. The next exercise that we have here are the Bulgarian lunges. Now you can start with normal lunges in that it's so important that you're squeezing the glutes on top and when you're descending all the way down make it slow and controlled so that your glutes are squeezing all the way down as well. Feel that nice glute stretch 
when you are all the way down and then by also lunging further from the bench you are also going to feel a lot more on the glutes and less on the quads and if you want to work more on the side glutes which include the gluteus medius the smaller glute muscles on the side you could also try doing curtsy bulgarian lunges now this is just a combination of normal curtsy lunges with bulgarian lunges but a warning is that if you have bad knees i wouldn't suggest you to do the curtsy lunges because they can be bad for the knee. Now the next fundamental exercise when it comes to getting that hourglass, the slim waist, big bum, are the hip abduction movements. And you can do it one in a standing way. Now we are going to talk about standing hip abduction. So you can do them either with a cable or either with a resistance band. Mostly I like to do them at the end of my workout as a finisher to really give that burn in the glutes. But you can also have them in between your workout like supersetting with the squats, doing hip abductions like side standing hip abductions when you are also doing the squat. So that is one variation that you could also try. The other fundamental exercise that I wanna share with you are the seated or squatting position. And so either using the hip abduction machine or even doing squat walks with bands around your hips is going to work. Now, the reason why we want to do not just the standing hip abduction, but also the seated is because these are going to target different portions of the gluteus medius. You want to optimize those glute gains. And I hear emphasize the word optimize. You want to be optimizing your gains. And this is what we do on the channel. Now the next exercise that we want to include in here are the leg presses. Ladies, don't be afraid of going heavy because this is going to give, really give you those thick booty gains. So what you want to do is to have a fairly wide stance just so that you are feeling a lot more on your glutes and maybe it will also challenge you even more when you have a wide stance and you also want to put your legs a little bit higher up so that you are feeling more on your glutes and your hamstrings which is the make up the posterior chain. Now what I like to do for the leg press is either supersetting with other movements like hip abductions or leg extensions and also doing leg press on its own like a giant pyramid set or a giant drop set is also really really awesome. Now the next two that I'm sharing with you here may sound counterintuitive because these are not booty exercises but these are so fundamental if you want that slim waist illusion. Now the exercise that I'm going to be sharing with you here is the pull up. You want to be doing those exercises that target the trapezius and your lats which will give you that v shape on your waist and also if you can't do pull-ups yes you can try with the isometric hold so pull holding yourself at the very top and then slowly letting your body down and last but not least is also another upper body exercise but ladies it's going to give you that really nice hourglass body shape that i told you right and now this one is going to work on the anterior chain so you will look like you have that hourglass shape when you look from the front side as well and of course that is working on the chest so my favorite is doing the bench press of course you can do bench press with several ways bench press just normal bench or bench press at an incline or at a decline or using a dumbbell like there are so many variations of bench press that you can do you i want to break the stigma among you ladies that bench press is going to give you a manly chest no it's not going to give you that manly chest it will enhance that hourglass body look so yeah if you really want to keep your core tight and your back retracted in all these upper body workouts that I shared with you just now. So yeah, I hope you make a lot of gains from watching this video and don't forget to give it a like so that more women can make those killer gains. Also up level your killer mindset, which I'll make videos about later as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to download that glute workout catalog which is for free for you and I will see you on my next video.